The Basics of an Almond Strip Test, presented by Electronics Incorporated. An almond test is a crucial component of a controlled shot peening process because it measures intensity. Intensity is the measure of the energy of the shot stream, and the energy of the shot stream is directly related to the compressive stress that is peened into a part. Therefore, assessing intensity is one of the essential means of ensuring process repeatability. Almond gauges, strips, and holders from Electronics Incorporated are the worldwide industry standard tools for measuring intensity through almond tests. During a shot peening cycle, almond test strips are blasted by high velocity shot. This compresses the surface of the almond strip and causes it to stretch, thereby bending the almond strip into an arc. The height of the arc is directly related to the intensity of the shot stream. The arc height can be precisely measured with an Electronics Incorporated almond gauge. The purpose of an almond test is to verify and record intensity before processing the first part. This ensures that the shot peening machine is set up and running according to the approved design parameters so that possible damage to valuable parts is prevented. After the production lot of parts has been processed, the almond test is repeated to ensure processing parameters have not changed. For long production runs, almond tests should be performed throughout the processing as required. Let's go through the steps necessary to conduct an almond test. The first step in performing the almond test is to mount the almond holder on a scrap part or fixture. Almond holders should be mounted in locations where verification of impact energy is crucial. Place the scrap part or fixture on the part holder on the shot peening machine's table. Next, we need to check the almond strip for flatness or prebo on the almond gauge. To do this, we need to zero the gauge. Press the zero slash on button to turn on the gauge. Place the master check block flat side down in the inspection position and make sure it rests against the two back pins and is centered between the two side pins. Then press the zero slash on button again to zero the gauge. Remove the master check block and put it back on the magnetic mount at the bottom of the gauge. Now we're ready to check for flatness or pre-bow. Place the strip onto the gauge and note the indicator reading. Measure both sides of the strip and make sure both are within the accepted tolerance band. Note that for aerospace applications, the most pre-bow allowed for either side is a half thousandth of an inch. EI's A1S strip meets this requirement. Make sure the holder's surface is clean because if foreign material, such as media, gets trapped under the almond test strip, it can cause it to bend slightly and throw off the arc height reading. Center the strip on the almond holder. Tighten the four screws and place the holder in a suitable fixture in accordance with drawing requirements. Run a process cycle. When the process is finished, remove the fixtures and take them to the gauge table. Loosen the almond holder's four screws and remove the almond test strip. The next step is to measure the arc height using the Electronics Incorporated almond gauge. To measure the arc height of an almond strip, place the peened almond test strip in the inspection position with the peen side up. See that it rests against the two back pins and is centered between the two side pins. The patented magnetic grip securely holds the strip for accurate measurement, so no spring or finger holding will corrupt the reading accuracy. Since all of the holding force is concentrated at the support balls, absolutely no strip distortion can occur. 
the foolproof end stops assure placement within the intended measuring point on the strip. Record the arc height and exposure time. Confirm that you are in compliance with intensity accept reject criteria for your application. If the results are not acceptable, check your machine parameters and shot flow. If a saturation curve is required, run multiple strips with various exposure times or a number of cycles. Initial verification of a process development requires the establishment of a saturation curve based on the collected Allman Arc data. Electronics Incorporated has made available a free Allman Saturation Curve Solver program developed by Dr. David Kirk. The Curve Solver program will automatically determine the Allman intensity and draw a graph for you. To get the Curve Solver program, go to www.electronics-inc.com. When the Allman test is complete, press the M slash off button for three seconds to turn off the gauge. Before placing the gauge back into the case, make sure the holder's surface is clean. No other maintenance is necessary. However, the gauge should be calibrated annually to assure proper performance. Electronics Incorporated can factory calibrate your gauge and certify all the required measurements. EI can certify gauges to SAE J442, SAE AMS 2432, and AMS S. 13165. Now is a good time to check your supply of almond strips. Electronics Incorporated manufactures and distributes certified almond strips. EI oversees and is responsible for every aspect of the manufacturing process so that EI strips are of consistent quality, give repeatable results, and are shipped promptly. EI can provide strips to any specification from standard mill specifications to rigid aerospace specs, and EI strips will conform to width, height, thickness, flatness, and hardness requirements. Electronics Incorporated strips are packaged in the well-known white, yellow, and black boxes with the great information on the label. Our Allman A, C, or N strips in grades 1, 2, and 1S are pre-qualified and ready to use. The inspection information on the back of the box documents EI's quality control process. Also, check the almond strip holder and screws. If they are worn or damaged, they should be replaced because they can distort the arc of the strip during peening. Electronics Incorporated manufactures test strip holders in two designs, non-threaded or threaded. Both versions meet industry specifications. Refer to the owner's instruction manual provided in the case for complete information on the use and care of the EI Allman gauge, check block, and Allman strip holder. In addition to Electronics Incorporated's Allman products and calibration services, EI offers on-site training programs and workshops that cover all aspects of the shot peening process, including how to conduct an Allman test. Contact Electronics Incorporated for more information on these training programs and EI products. Visit electronics-inc.com or call 1-574-256-5001.